Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Uh, we're going to be doing a scalp and skin check on you today, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, well, you've had these done before, um, so if you have any other questions, let me know. Okay. Uh, but otherwise, I'm just going to get started. Um, and as I recall last time, we had a little bit of dryness, mm -hmm. um, but itch, nothing other than a little bit of dryness and itching. Have you had any uh, traumas to the skin or the scalp? Um, no, I haven't. So let me just take an initial look, just with my eyes, to see if there's anything major that's popping out. I do see just a little bit of that dryness is continuing. Any pain or tingling when I do this? I have no pain. Does it feel um, uncomfortable in any way? No. Okay. Let me look a little bit closer with my light here. I'm just going to be separating the hair into sections. And since you have very fair skin, I'm looking at the skin. Let me check just the shoulder here. Have you had any sunburns this summer? Um, no, not this summer. Okay, good. Put your head down for me, please. I'm just gonna check the neck back area here. Put your head back up for me, please. Thank you. Same thing, just looking at this neck and shoulder area. Go ahead and feel the head here. I'm going to squeeze a little bit hard because I did notice just a little bit of swelling. Mm. Any pain when I do this? No, not really. Okay. I do feel a little bit of swelling of the head. And um, it's not necessarily a dangerous thing in any way. It could just mean that you're holding a lot of tension. Um, do you hold tension in your neck and your shoulders often? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay. So a lot of times, though, these muscles here... Uh, in the back, they go all the way up into the base of the scalp, right here, mm -hmm. and can cause swelling and irritation, um, and that can cause redness and heat in the scalp, which can lead to some skin problems. So okay. I'll do the full exam, um, but I might give you just a little bit of a scalp massage later, trying uh, to try and loosen up some of that tension, and that way it doesn't lead to any hair loss or issues uh, regarding the scalp itself and the skin. Okay. okay. So I've looked pretty thoroughly with my light, but I'm just gonna comb through. I'll put my gloves on for this.
I'm just looking for any uh, any infestations, any brittleness of the hair, anything that might represent a more serious problem. So I'll just comb through it first. Are you prone to too many tangles? Do you find yourself having to cut knots out of your hair at all? Um, yeah, sometimes. Sometimes, okay. Quite a bit. Do you um, use a shampoo and a conditioner or just a shampoo? Um, both occasionally. Okay. There's definitely a little bit of tangly here. Um, the hair has a little bit of breakage as well. Um, it's pretty fine hair. Just getting these little ones. There's a tangle right here. I'm going to use the bigger comb. How often are you brushing your hair out or combing um, it out? Not very often. Mm -hmm. It might be something to consider. Just a daily brush after the shower mm -hmm. could help with some of those tingle tangles in okay. the hair. But that came out pretty easily. I'm not seeing any uh, signs of major breakage or hair loss, which is good. Everything feel okay on the scalp? Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Now I'm just going to use this really fine-toothed metal comb here. I'm just looking for anything on the brush that could be critters or a signs of infection or flaking. And I do see just a little bit of flaking, um, dry scalp, coming off on the comb. Is that uh, common for you? Yeah. Do you have it worse in the winter? Is it, uh, is it more or less manageable? I mean, it's a little worse in the winter. A little worse in the winter. Okay, so we can consider uh, maybe a medicated shampoo and conditioner. Could be mm -hmm. helpful to that. But I'm not seeing any signs of lice or um, any other infestation. Also seeing that your hair is very even, even color, no gray or silver hair, or white. Do you have any problem with discoloration at all? Um, no, I don't. Okay, excellent. And do you use any dyes or coloring in your hair? Um, no, I never have. Okay. The color's really strong and consistent and not a lot of difference from side to side, so that's very good. Okay. Great. So that all looks fine. I'm just going to check the beard here. Close your eyes for me so I don't hurt you at all. And I do see some different colors in the beard here. Uh, is that new or is that normal? Oh, um, that's normal. Okay. And the beard here is relatively coarse um, compared to the hair, which is very fine. Again, that's not uncommon. Checking this side. 
Can you just turn your head for me, please? Thank you. And are you trimming or uh, shaving often? Um, trimming, yeah. Trimming. Do you ever shave down to the face itself? Um, not usually. No. So you're not having issues with uh, razor burns in the face or uh, shaving uh, discomfort? No. Okay. Just a little what looks like could be an ingrown hair. Is that painful right there? Not really. Okay. I would say keep an eye on if that starts to feel uh, raised or painful. Um, we can go ahead and extract that. But for now, it, I think it's going to work its way out. Okay. And just one last look on this side. Just looking at the eyebrows. Nice and even. Skin on the face is even. Do you use any sort of lotions or moisturizers on the face? Um, no, just try to use sunscreen. Sunscreen, okay. Definitely as you get older, you may want to look into a moisturizer. Um, that could help prevent some wrinkles and... Uh, just keep your skin overall looking healthy and glowing. Do have a little bit of oil here and a few uh, a few um, blemishes on the nose there. But just take a look here. Should you decide we could do a few extractions if you come back, but I'd want to put you on the table and do those safely. Any pain when I do this? No. Okay, so it seems like the blemishes are relatively not painful and relatively manageable for you. Okay. I want to test some sensitivity of the scalp, so I've touched it like that. No pain, you said, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do some more fine uh, sensation. So I'm just going to blow a little bit of air in a couple of spots. Okay. Any tingling or burning sensation? No. Okay. Let me know if that changes. Otherwise, I'll just pick a few spots here. Is that side all okay? Mm -hmm. Great. Let's try the other side. How's that? Mm, that feels fine. Perfect. I'm just going to make sure you can feel evenly. So, can you feel this the same on both sides? Yes. And what about this right here? Yes. And here. here. Yes. Okay. I've got just a little bit of a sharp point here, and I'm just going to poke you in a couple of different spots, and I just want to make sure you can feel the sensation and there's no numbness of the scalp. So, okay. uh, say sharp when you feel it. Okay. And that felt the same all the way around the head? Like that? Yes. Okay. I want to measure the scalp. I did feel that swelling, like I mentioned. So let's just make a note of what you're registering at. You can get right above the eyebrows there. And that is measuring at about... 56 centimeters. And let me try it. Um, I'm just going to go from the top here of the cranium to the bottom there, okay? That's at about 61. I'm going to go from the top of the crown to the back. I'm just going to gently place it underneath your nose here, okay? So just watch your eyes. Right, underneath the ears. And we have 
54. Alright, so not atypical um, for size, but we just want to keep track of your particular. Um, this is just that little bit of swelling. Right, so there's two little treatments I want to do here. You're looking pretty good, Jeremy, but I want to give you a little bit of moisture into that scalp. Um, sort of try to treat a little bit of that flaking. And then I also want to do a little bit of massage to loosen up some of that scar tissue and swelling that may be in the scalp and um, prevent any buildup, okay? Okay. So I'm going to massage you first. And then we'll cool down the scalp with that moisturizer. Okay. So again, close your eyes and just tell me if anything bothers you. Just start with a little bit of stimulation here. And these muscles do stem from the shoulders, so I'm just adding some pressure to the shoulders. Is this okay pressure-wise? Yeah, it is. Okay. Doing a mix of pressure and stimulation here. Put your head down for me, please. These muscles are super, super tight. I definitely feel it leading up into the scalp. feeling okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm starting to feel some of those muscles loosen up, so that's really good. Just do about another minute, and then I want to do that scalp treatment for you. Sort of loosening up that scalp off the head, trying to relieve the, some of that pressure. I'm going to start by wetting the hair, and then the uh, treatment on the scalp is, goes on with the hair wet. Need it moist there. Just enough so that the treatment will activate. Let's just brush that out as well.
going to be applying this to the scalp here. Feel that tingling sensation? Mm -hmm. A little, just a little bit of menthol in this. Sort of a bit of a cooling effect. Right, let's brush that out one more time for you, Jeremy. I want you to just let this dry and, and then you can go ahead and take a shower. that there's no globs of residue anywhere on the scalp. It's all evenly distributed and then I'll let you uh, go on with your day. Okay, looking really good. The scalp is actually looking moisturized, more moisturized already. Okay. Alright Jeremy, everything looks great. So again, just let that dry, let your hair dry naturally, and uh, you can go ahead and shower it out afterwards. And I'm going to suggest, uh, I'll send you home with a little bit of information on some moisturizing uh, shampoos and conditioners specifically for that dry scalp, okay? Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.